Hey, 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 Libra. This is your sacred scribe here ready to do your weekend reading from July 10th to the 12th. This is for my Libra's Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Right down below there, Libra, if you would, before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your questions and your needs, the information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to pull a couple cards here, Libra, and then I'm going to get a channeled message for you Oof. from Spirit. Okay. One more card for Libra. Oh, two more. Hmm. under here okay all right so at the bottom of the deck you've got the three of cups you have the nine of pentacles the three of swords the world card the ten of cups and the six of cups so libra let's get your weekend message let's see what they have to say for you Okay, they just said loneliness is a state of mind. <sighs> Living life to the fullest, Libra will get you out of that state of mind if you find yourself lonely. I do feel it's because of this Three of Swords here for some of you, because um, I do feel that some of you have recently become single from heartbreak, starting a new cycle. Um, you will find your emotional fulfillment uh, pretty quickly as well from what I see here. Let yourself be, they're saying. They're saying, well, they said, let yourself become one with the universe. And I said, well, how is that? And they said, let yourself be. So just experience being, right? Existing. You know, that in itself is, you know, that's our worth, so to speak. We exist. Therefore, we all are worthy, right? We don't have to do anything to become worthy. We already are worthy. So they're wanting you to experience the essence of this. Experience the essence of just existence. You know, it's like stopping and smelling the roses because everybody's always on the go, go, go. Stop. Because really, if you, because they're, they're referring back to loneliness now. If you think about it, you're really not lonely. You walk outside, there's so much just in Mother Nature alone. You're never alone. In spirit, in, you know, you really are never alone. And they're wanting you to be reminded of this through experiencing your essence. Reminding yourself of how beautiful you really are. And how powerful, they just said. Okay. All right, so we're going to clarify this heartbreak here. I want to dig a little bit deeper. Um, you may be reuniting with somebody, though. Let's see if it's this 
I don't think it's the same person, but we'll see. Now this won't resonate with everybody, so don't make it fit if it doesn't fit. Why is the Three of Swords here? What is this heartbreak about? Why is this Three of Swords here? Why is this Three of Swords? Now this could be that you're just healing. Hmm, okay. Justice, there you are Libra, this is karma. It's like something got balanced out. Something got balanced out. Okay, somebody may have walked away from you or you them. One of you received, um, well, you both received karma, but you know, what kind of karma that was is going to be different for everybody. The just it could have been a twin because the justice card is here. Doesn't have to be. It's it's karma. All right, tell me tell me about the nine of pentacles. Yeah. So you've been <coughs> excuse me. Mm. Wait a minute, I gotta get a sip of water. <coughs> oh my god, Libra. <coughs> What's going on? And you're not speaking to anybody about this? Because you've got the Hermit card here over the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting, because we've got two Nines, right? The Hermit's a Nine, and so is the Nine of Pentacles. Which talks about endings, right? So, you've used this experience to seek that wisdom within, right? This may be, <coughs> because of this not speaking up, this may be a reason why you feel lonely, right? Because you're trying to do this all by yourself, which is fine, but just know that you're not, you're never alone. Never, never, ever. Clarify this again. Okay, that's good. Ace of Wands. So you're thinking about, they just said new lease on life. So what is your passion? How, you, how do you want to move forward in this passion? Um, you're looking forward to new love here as you went into hermit mood. But you're also feeling okay by yourself. Yes, some of you may be feeling lonely. I don't think that's all the time. But I feel that this is needed, Libra. Tell me about this world card. <laughs> the Knight of Wands. So, a new cycle is beginning, okay? I feel like you're like painting the town red right now, Libra. You're out playing. You're out dating, flirting, which is fine. You probably need that. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Who is Libra's Ten of Cups? Ooh, okay. See, something else that's hidden. You're not letting people know you have like this secret wish. A lot of people have secret wishes I'm finding through these readings. A lot of shit people keep to themselves. Yeah, the Six of Cups. Okay, so this is somebody from the past with the Six of Cups. Somebody, <laughs> are you kidding me? Okay, it just said, try saying flip a coin. My phone does the weirdest things. It was recording. Like it goes to this voice thing. Now it's flipping a coin. It says heads. I don't know if this means anything to anybody, but this is weird. And I just heard something about flipping a coin today. I forget what I was listening to. What is it about flipping a coin? I wonder where that, where did that stem from? If you know, like flipping a coin, was that just a sports thing when people decided to do that? But it says head. So some of you, <laughs> some of you are anxious and nervous about this secret wish. Maybe you're not sure how you're gonna make it a reality. This is somebody from childhood um, but it, it's also a past life soulmate, right? This is your happiness. This is your Ten of Cups here. So you're not sure how you're going to go about. It's keeping you up at night too. 
you're trying to keep your mind off of it. So let's get some advice for you regarding this. Advice for Libra. What's going on? Six of Swords. Time to move on from this um, healing, right? Move on, moving on to more peaceful waters. I hope you're at peace, Libra. Yep. What is it that you're wishing for? We already see the Ten of Cups is there. You've got to communicate that. That's what Spirit is saying with the Knight of uh, Swords. But be truthful because the Knight of Swords is all about truth. Expressing your truth. And in a quick fashion. So you've got to, <clears throat> that's why my throat, you've got to speak up. And again, on the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, which was there in the beginning, which is reunion. All right, Libra, speak up for your happiness, okay? Otherwise, it's going to drive you crazy and it's going to keep you up at night. At least you'll know either way. Yes, no, maybe so, you know, so you can get this out of your head, out of your system. All right, Libra, I hope that helped. I hope it made sense. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe. If you already haven't, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. The info is in the description box below. Don't forget to uh, like, share, comment as well. I want to know if this is your story, if this is relating to you. You have yourself a fantastic weekend, Libra, and I'll talk to you next time. Namaste.